Rotating slowly one and a half million kilometers from Earth, Gaia is scanning the entire Milky Way. Since 2014, the mission has been mapping the distance, position and movement of 1.7 billion stars to reveal our galaxy as never before. The scientific impact of the mission already is immense. We see three, four papers appearing per day. We're touching virtually every area of astrophysics from very fundamental predictions of 50 years ago to new things that you see and the dynamics and the history of our own galaxy. Capturing 70 measurements of every star, Gaia produces vast amounts of data. At a meeting in Groningen in the Netherlands, scientists have been discussing the challenge of processing and visualizing this information. Gaia is probably one of humanity's greatest missions, one of the greatest uh, catalogs of data that has currently existed for humans to go through. And it's almost impossible to give you all of the ways in which Gaia is impacting astrophysics. Earthbound observatories provide a snapshot of celestial objects in the night sky. But by measuring how the stars are moving and visualizing that data, astrophysicists are using Gaia to trace the history and evolution of the galaxy. They've discovered, for instance, that stars born together in star-forming factories move in clusters or families throughout most of their lives. It is mind-blowing. I can't believe we can do this. I could never have dreamed that we could pull away from our position on the Earth and actually see the structure of these kinds of associations. And then you can run time forward and see exactly how they're moving. You can compare and contrast how they're all moving differently. And I think it's a story of vast proportions in our understanding of how stars form and evolve. Other science teams have used Gaia data to confirm today's Milky Way is formed from giant galactic mergers. So most of the stars in the Milky Way rotate like the Sun in a clockwise sense. So for example, what we discovered last year is a very large group of stars that are going the other way around. And so that's already very suspicious and it tells you kind of that these stars were formed elsewhere, being such a large group. And it was, it's also very old stars. So that was already the first hint that actually one component of the galaxy it's probably made up uh, from stars born somewhere else. Across Europe, hundreds of people work on the Gaia mission, ensuring the data is accessible to everyone. With more data releases expected in the 2020s, there are likely to be plenty more revelations to come. Gaia is currently in an extension of the original five-year mission. We have fuel for another five years. What we do is we gather more data, we get better statistics, and then we can derive more precise results. Gaia is not only mapping the stars, it's giving us a new sense of our place in the universe.